It took me a long time to come to terms with the fact there are no stories inherent to our lives. That's the postmodern sensibility, the rejection of the uh, grand narrative. I can't. I rolled my ankle and then it for which is apparently just an unfortunate event. There is only what occurs and what we make of it. Meaning and our fears about it have more to do with us. These simple moments I've remembered to appreciate, whose sole purpose is to hold their own. And without such tension, though their times seem circuitous, the thread is not so slack as might yet be some purpose unknown. I found some peace and contentment. An awful admiration for the terrains that be. And the ends which sit when you sit. And walk with idle feet. Where are we going? We're going there tomorrow. And we're going to this direction. Are you going to come with us? No. no. Not that that is a, like, so. more direct bus. Yeah. And we should take this thing once I step in. Now I find comfort in the opacity of the lack in these peaks, sprouted symbols from the depths of time. In the endless forest, silent edifices mingling for miles at the root. Cold air blows. How, for a moment, they sprawl out there and waiting. Is it scary to know of the choice we have in the matter? Who else would have eyes to see it? Who else would know what it was? You must have thought I was talking about something else. The span of time of which I spoke in reference. Or anyway, it was by your reckoning far too large a word. What of the mountains? Of rocks long since swept? What of the trees? To them are years as minutes and the endless tug of war too slow for mortal eyes to witness. Syllables cannot mean so much so outside their depth. There are forces at play here and now, perpetual or not, they were long since set in motion. What water flows dulls the rocks imperceptibly and fades the world's indignities to illustrious edge.
Sometimes I want for the world secret. Like the skin waits for touch. The cogitators would call it mystery. The truth talked in hush. Verity burns in the flame which bleeds black the night. It's not even burnt at all. Cooked on your top side, Jacob. Watch out. It's rotation. The sparks of cognizance. Why are these sticks up here? Are they dry? I was drying them out. They can probably be thrown in the fire. Can you stir those mushrooms, Axel? Embers hot to blush. Listen. To the birds dawn their cheery song, and from the shoddy coals of night the light dawn hopes still to bring. At the hour all warmth is lost, a new day again redeems. Better conclusion takes more time. It's not some line so promptly reached. It lies in waiting for when at last we've returned. Not in leaning, nor ever might be yet revoked. Okay. I've gone along the path, and up. I like I'm climbing the high soft door. And up. Oh, oh, it's this way. No. And up. Hi. How's it going? Oh, nice, nice. Oh, yeah. 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 To the summit. And wandered there at scale. The truth is the mountain. 
which rises above it all, before whose granite peak all time forever stalls. To the dark, the shade yet creeps and pines to gullies deeps. But listen. Yeah. 